know what time it is. In this video, I am talking about my man, the one and only icon of WCW and a little bit of WWE, even though they mistreated him. And I can't forget about his TNA Impact run. But now currently his AEW run. <clears throat> this is Sting! <laughs> That's right, I'm going to be talking about my Sting figures I picked up. In a previous video, I talked about, uh, and I think I may have showed, the uh, AEW Luminaries Collection Sting with the uh, Darby Allen uh, exclusive half paint job. And this particular one is a Walmart exclusive. Um, and I have been seeing them in a number of Walmarts that I've uh, visited. And they've been quickly leaving off the shelves. So basically what I'm saying is I'll see them at a Walmart, then I'll go back and go back to that same Walmart, and then all of a sudden it's gone. And uh, yeah, it's a real cool figure without the jacket. Comes with the basic t-shirt he's been wearing since he's been in AEW. And uh, the big deal about the figure is that, that it has the uh, half paint job that uh, he thing. Um, in this match against, um, in this match against, actually it was against, um, Ricky Starks and Brian Cage, who's all of a sudden disappeared. I don't know if he's going to be wrestling AEW anymore, but, um, nevertheless, it's from that match, and, um, I mean, it's from Revolution, uh, February 7th, 2021, Jacksonville, Florida, but I can tell just from, like, the, uh, back, the photo art from it that looks like that's from that match if I'm not mistaken right and somebody else can tell me you can tell me in the comment section if you guys uh, comment of course comment like share and subscribe I'm gonna keep coming with these videos it's been a couple days since I did a video but it's hard to you know be off from two jobs and try to get a video in I try to do them when I can but with this little time I had I decided to dedicate it to Sting and you guys. And again, this is the Luminaries Collection. It's going to be interesting to see who else comes out in the Luminaries Collection. Because, of course, um, they've got more legends or luminaries, as I guess they like to call them, in AW with uh, uh, Aaron Anderson, and Tully, Blanchard, Jake the Snake, and that's just to name a few. So it'll be interesting to see what else they come out with. Um, like this figure, but the one I wanted was going to be in the regular line, and at a Target hunt, I ran into the basic, well not basic, but regular line, Sting! <laughs> and of course, this is the one that he came, uh, when he made his debut on Dynamite, December 2nd, 2020, in Jacksonville, Florida, so... This is the one I wanted the most because it comes with the jacket and it comes with the uh, kind of basic uh, Sting face paint that we all know and love uh, him wearing. And uh, it's a cool look, man. It's a good look. So these are showing up in Targets and all kinds of places. So you want to get that checked out. You want to you want to check your check your check your stores out for that. So, yeah, I like I said, you know, both of them are cool. I mean, you could, I mean, I guess you could. The only difference is, for the most part, is that, uh, of course, this one has the different face paint, and that's the, uh, you know, that's that's the main the main thing of it. It has the different face paint. Uh, from the regular version and it doesn't come with the coat and I like this one better because it comes with the coat and because it has the regular face paint I like the Darby thing face paint but this is how I like my stings you know with the 
pretty much regular face paint with the coat. And it's really a good figure, too. Really cool. Really cool. I'm really feeling it. So, you know, Sting is the man. Sting is having almost a, 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 re, a, a career revitalization right now in AEW and putting on some real exciting matches. So, uh, it's really cool to have the newest figure of Sting that's in the stores right now. Uh, this is the newest figure if you're looking for a Sting figure. But before I end this video, and this is going to be a short video too, I want to take it back to a classic Sting figure um, and another uh, figure that's in the two-pack with it that I've been wanting for a long time now and I just purchased it off of eBay um, for a pretty penny. For a pretty penny, I, I think most of you that probably have this uh, this set understand that if you want this set because it's hard to find, you're gonna have to pay some money for it. And of course, this is Sting and his best bud, the total package from the Toy Biz WCW Main Event Wrestlers Two Pack. Now. Of course, this came out in 2000 towards the end of WCW run and on the uh, Toy Biz WCW connection. And this right here is one of the uh, harder two packs to find. And I've been looking for it for years and I finally ran across somebody that had it. And I can't really say it was at a good price. They just had it. So I grabbed it. <laughs> uh, of course, along with these sets, like I said, these were some of the last toys that came out from Toy Biz, you got um, a Hulk Hogan and Ric Flair 2-pack, which was the first one I grabbed, which was the one I wanted the most, and it's a lot easier to find, and I had to pay for that one too, but not as much, um, but that was, I, I wanted a Hulk Hogan, uh, especially for the Hulk Hogan that it came with, and that was the only, that was <coughs> the actually second um Ric Flair they had in the Toy Biz line. And they also had a Goldberg and Sid Vicious pack, which I'm really on the fence about. I would buy it if I, you know, found it at a good price. But, you know, every time I see it, it's, it's at a high price. It's on eBay right now for a high price. So, you know, if I find it one day at a reasonable price, I'll get it. But I really wanted this two pack. This was one of the only two packs or the only um, times you could find uh, Lex Luger in the rest, the regular wrestling trunks and, you know, knee pads with the boots while all the other ones were in, like in black jeans. So this was uh, towards, his, towards the end of his WCW run and also just the end of his career in that he didn't wrestle anymore after WCW. And I always thought like the repackaging you know, total package, repackage. The repackaging of uh, Lex Luger at the time was really cool. I, I thought he needed it. Uh, I think it probably just came a little bit too late as it was coming at the end of um, his run in WCW and the end of WCW itself as he didn't, you know, he didn't go to, to over to WWE. But it's really cool to finally have that figure in my Toy Biz line. And of course... Sting Toy Biz, and they came out with a lot of Sting Toy Biz figures, and this was one of the last ones where you have the Sting with the scowl on his face, you know, but soft goods jacket, and just like that classic Toy Biz Sting look. I mean, this was, you know, Toy Biz was making Sting figures when we first got the Pro figure. So, you know, we've came from here all the way to here. All right? So, you know, present and past. But he's still rocking that crow look because it was, you know, that was his biggest look. You know, surface thing was really cool, but pro thing was the man. But anyway, once again, I appreciate... Anybody that actually uh, come into my videos, I have people that come in every now and then. I really appreciate it. I get excited every time I see somebody come in. And, okay, I got a little message. Um, 
and I uh, appreciate my uh, subscriptions go up, going up slowly but surely. Like, okay, I'm like, you know, you see one the day by day. I'll take that. I'll take them any way I can get them. Like, share, subscribe. Talk about your uh, passion for collecting wrestlers. Uh, not well, not just wrestling figures, but all kinds of toys. Because I mean, I mainly, probably, you know, I mainly collect wrestling figures, but. You know, I'm in a die cast cars, Godzilla, so, you know, that's why it's called Jack in the Box Collectibles, because there are a lot of collectibles in the, uh, in the box, per se, right? Alright, y'all.